This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Good afternoon, Filipinas. I am Jamie Erica Reyes, reporting for Museo de Cinco. Today, we embark on a journey through the rich tapestry of local history, exploring museums, shrines, and cultural performances that weave the story of the Philippines. In the heart of Manila is the vibrant world of local museums and historical land stands as a beacon of our rich heritage. This cultural gem not only preserves our history but invites visitors to immerse themselves in the story of our ancestors. From artifacts to interactive exhibits, let's delve into the heart of our heritage. First stop is the iconic National Museum, home to an extensive collection of artifacts and artworks that narrate the story of the Philippines. From the stunning Spolarium of Juan Luna and Bataan of Fernando Amorzolo, the intricate artifacts and sculpture in every corner holds a piece of our nation's narrative and is a treasure trove of our cultural identity. Next on our tour is the Casa Manila, a living museum nestled in the heart of Intramuros, transporting visitors back to the Spanish colonial era. Casa Manila meticulously presented the apes, the opulence, and lifestyle of the 19th century. It's a fascinating glimpse into our colonial history. Now let's turn our attention to the cultural center of the Philippines, a hub for the performing and visual arts. From world-class theater productions to inspiring art exhibitions, PCP plays a pivotal role in promoting Filipino creativity on both national and international stages. Shifting gears, we head to the Bantayag ng Bayani Museum, a tribute to the unsung heroes who fought for freedom and democracy. This museum honors the sacrifices of individuals who played key roles in shaping our nation's history, ensuring their stories are never forgotten. Moving on to our next destination, I'm Gabriel Bravo reporting for the sacred grounds of historical shrines. This place is home not just architectural beauty, but also repositories of stories that shape our nation. Join us as we explore the significance and preservation efforts surrounding these hallowed sites. Our first stop is the Aguinaldo Shrine in Tawit, Cavite, the ancestral home of the country's first president, Emilio Aguinaldo. Stepping into this well-preserved mansion is like taking a walk through Philippine history. From declaration of independence to the struggles and triumphs, the walls resonate with the echoes of our nation's past. Moving on to Manila, the heart of Intramuros holds Fort Santiago, a fortress with a rich history dating back to the Spanish colonial era. Its walls have witnessed both triumphs and tragedies, making it a symbol of resilience. Join us as we explore the nooks and crannies that tell tales of heroism and resilience. Now, let's take a tour to the scenic Cape Polinao in Pangasinan, where the Cape Polinao Lighthouse stands tall against the backdrop of South China Sea. This architectural marvel has guided sailors for over a century and remains a beacon of maritime history, standing proudly as a testament to the Philippines' maritime heritage. Nestled in Malolos, Bulacan, Paraswain Church echoes with the whispers of nation's struggle for independence. It served as the inaugural site of the first Philippine Republic in 1899, marking a pivotal moment in our quest for self-determination. And now, let's experience the rhythm of our culture through mesmerizing performances. From traditional dances to music that echoes through the ages, our local artists are keeping our heritage alive. Join us as we celebrate the vibrant cultural tapestry of the Philippines. I'm Liane Ibardolata reporting for Museo de Cinco. 
These performances not only showcase the country's diverse heritage, but also reflect the passion and creativity deeply embedded in the hearts of the Filipino people. What a rich culture we have, right, Andrea? Yes, Liana, you're truly right about that. Aside from having a rich culture, our country is also abundant in religious rites and rituals. Today, we embark on a journey to uncover the diverse and vibrant religious rites and rituals that define the spiritual landscape of the Philippines. I'm Andrea Perez, reporting for Mosaic Cinco. This represents an expression of gratitude and devotion of the Filipinos. This celebration fosters a sense of community and unity, providing opportunities for people to come together, strengthen bonds, and share cultural traditions. Fiestas also play a role in promoting religious devotion, as many celebrations have religious origins. Additionally, these events contribute to the local economy through increased tourism and business activities associated with the festivities. The images represent our deep connection to our faith and ancestors. Religious rites and rituals hold significant importance in Filipino culture. Shaping various aspects of life, they provide a framework for social interactions, influencing family dynamics, community cohesion, and individual identity. These practices often contribute to a sense of belonging and continuity connecting Filipinos to their cultural and spiritual heritage. Additionally, religious events and ceremonies play a central role in fostering a strong community bond and reinforcing moral values. As we conclude our journey, it's evident that the religious rites and rituals of the Philippines are as diverse as the archipelago itself. From Catholic processions to indigenous ceremonies and Islamic practices, each tradition contributes to the country's vibrant spiritual tapestry. Now let's hear some critical evaluation from Anya Rivera and Juliana Daguno. navigate through these cultural gems, it is crucial to critically evaluate their preservation and accessibility. Are these historical sites adequately maintained? How inclusive are our museums and performances in representing the diverse facets of our society? As we delve into the cultural tapestry of the Philippines, it led us to the local museum, a repository of the nation's church history and heritage. This critical evaluation aims to assess the museum's presentation, curation, and overall impact on visitors. Exhibit Curation The museum's exhibit curation serves as a visual narrative of the Philippines' multi-faced history. While the chronological arrangement is commendable, some areas lack detailed information, leaving visitors yearning for a deeper insight. A more comprehensive and interactive approach could enhance the overall visitor experience. Cultural representation The museum is a reflection of the diverse cultures that shape the Philippine archipelago. However, there is room for improvement in spotlighting the lesser-known ethnic groups and their contributions. A more inclusive representation would foster a stronger sense of national identity. Educational programs. While the museum caters to school groups, the educational programs could be expanded to offer a more immersive learning experience. Collaborations with schools and universities could lead to curated workshops and guided tours, fostering a deeper understanding of the nation's history. Preservation efforts. Preserving artifacts is a constant challenge. The museum must continuously invest in state-of-the-art preservation techniques. Additionally, establishing partnerships with conservation organizations would contribute to the long-term sustainability of the exhibit. Community engagement A stronger emphasis on community engagement would make the museum a focal point for local residents. Collaborative events Cultural festivals and outreach programs could bridge the gap between the museum and the community, making it a vibrant cultural hub. 
In conclusion, the local museums in the Philippines stand as a custodian of the nation's history, but there is untapped potential for growth. By reimagining exhibit curation, embracing technological advancement, fostering community engagement, and addressing representation gaps, the museum can evolve into a dynamic and inclusive scene that resonates with both locals and visitors alike. Thank you, Anya. Next, on our exploration is the historical landmarks of our beloved country, which stands as, as a statement to our shared history. Every place exudes an undeniable aura of its historical significance. Beyond artifacts and architecture, the heartbeat of any cultural institution lies in its connection with the society and community shines in this aspect, fostering educational programs and community events that bring history to life. In conclusion, the Philippines boasts a rich historical tapestry showcased in its museum and landmarks. While there are areas for improvement, the commitment to preserving and sharing our history is commendable. As we conclude our journey through these historical landmarks, it becomes evident that each site holds a unique piece of the Philippines' intricate history. From the heroism of Rizal to the resilience in Corregidor, these landmarks serve as the living witnesses to the narrative of the nation that has endured and triumphed. Reporting from the heart of these stories, I am reminded that our history is not just a collection of events, but a vibrant mosaic that continues to shape our identity. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening exploration. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration. Reporting from Museo de Cinco, I am Anya Rivera. And I'm Juliana Daguno. Back to you in the studio, Julie. Thank you. Anya Rivera and Julia Dagun. Now it's your turn, Drummer Valenzuela, to promote the local museums and historical landmarks of our country. Thank you, Jamie. Before we wrap up, we encourage everyone to immerse in themselves in the richness of our local history, visit this museum, explore historical shrines, and attend cultural performances. Let's all play a part in preserving and promoting our heritage of the generation to come. This is Jorba Venezuela signing off for the Museo de Cinco.